everybody and welcome back to some more city skylines mass transit we're back here in Cafetropolis. i renamed the city between episodes it used to be called rockdale which i didn't think was a particularly great name for our city and so i renamed it to Cafetropolis because why not uh, so we left off last episode with a bit of a problem with crime you can see that the entirety of our industrial area which is not very big uh, but every single building in this area i think apart from this one blue building here which must have just incredible security uh, considering everybody else is complaining about crime uh, and if we look at the uh, the crime statistics right now we have a crime rate in our city of 43 percent that's a ridiculously high crime rate to have especially so early on in the game and the whole reason for all of this crime is one mistake that i made right at the start of the last episode and that is this kind of makeshift roundabout on ramp off ramp setup that we have for getting people off of the highway and onto this main road into kind of this suburban tush shaped uh, area that we have over here and that mistake is that we have no on ramps if we look closely and actually uh, if we click on the roads now in the uh, the new mass transit update they actually have arrows showing the direction of the roads you can see that all of the ramps all of these one way roads that come off of the highway and onto this main road are all going off of the highway and onto the main road there are no roads that allow you to come off of the main road here and then onto this kind of makeshift highway and so once you enter this suburban tush shaped area there is no way to leave you cannot get back out onto the highway and then leave so uh, the first thing we're going to do of course in today's episode is grab our uh, upgrade road tool and we're just going to quickly rotate these roads and these roads and so now if we press play we should start to see uh, a bunch of police cars heading out there we go look at that boom 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 rolling out i think we'll even dispatch all 13 cars here because there was a ton of crime over in the industrial area uh, but there we go that should hopefully uh, solve a couple of issues it should solve the issues of the industrial area not having enough workers uh, it will solve the issue of all the crime of course and in general it should just make life a little bit easier uh, for our city if people can actually get around it uh, and so now that we have done that the first thing we're going to work on here is getting uh, a little bit more industry set up because we do have quite a large demand uh, for industry right now now, uh, probably from all of the people living in the uh, the, su the suburbs over here uh, who up until now could not access all of the industry uh, that we had over here but uh, let me go ahead and just extend this over to here um i did make a bit of a mistake with our uh, landfill here i actually can't uh, connect the road up probably because i put this a bit too close uh, to the edge of the map but i guess that's fine for now uh, we can probably do something like this and then do i want to come like up and around or do i want to just i'll just do this for now that should be fine uh, yeah that covers most of the area there's a little bit of, uh, of unused land right there but that's fine uh, eventually we'll probably end up getting rid of the landfill anyway and replacing it with incinerators and at that point we could probably try and fix this if we don't just want to get rid of it and, and turn it into something else which we might also do uh, at some point in the fairly near future because i might move um kind of this big industrial sector i might move it to behind the the highway here so we can have one of these when we unlock it we can have one of these like roundabouts here uh, i know it's not actually a roundabout but it's under the roundabout section uh, of the roads here this kind of three-way intersection we can have one of those just dedicated to the industrial sector uh, and so we don't end up with both uh, industry traffic and normal traffic backing up on the highway here and we are having yet more problems with our electricity i am going to go ahead and uh, bump this up just a little bit you know what i'll bump it up to a hundred percent for now how does that leave us in terms of power so right now uh, with the um the budget at 100 percent we're producing 56 megawatts and consuming 35 34 uh, that is of course going to go up as time goes on but uh, that should be fine for now we're kind of future proofing a little bit because i'm fairly certain that by the end of today's episode uh, we're probably going to need either a secondary coal plant or we're going to have to put even more money into the budget of our um our electricity uh, but before we get into that any further let me quickly throw down uh, some more housing and also uh, a little bit more commercial as well we can probably now get rid of these power cables so i'm fairly certain i don't know if we can get rid of that one uh, we can't which is a little bit annoying because we have to have it go like that uh, but we can get rid of this uh, the power yeah goes up and through our clinic right now uh, and so we can get rid of all those and we should be able to fill in uh, pretty much all of this area here with uh, with more uh, residential zoning so people can start moving in again people moved in incredibly quickly there there were a bunch of people just like waiting standing outside with the moving vans ready to just pounce whatever uh, the council is ready to let people move in but here we go we'll fill in 
all of this area like so uh, and then i will expand out a little bit on the main road here with a little bit more in the way of commercial buildings and whilst we're here we might as well just kind of fill in not that area we might as well fill in something like this like this i've done that entirely wrong let me get rid of those there we go i'm not quite sure what kind of really small shop uh, is going to set up there but that's fine we'll fill in you and just to kind of finish things off we'll get you done you don't like so and we might as well put a little bit of commercial what about that nice okay so now that that's done uh what i want to work on in today's episode if we can get um enough money to do so because right now we do have tax up at 12 percent, which is as far as i know kind of the maximum oh we need to do water we need to do water really quickly before all of these guys leave um is kind of the maximum that you can charge people before they start getting annoyed with their taxes or start complaining that their the tax is too high uh, once you go above 12 percent. so of course you can charge them that uh, but they will just start to complain and then eventually they'll move out and then they'll stop paying tax altogether and that doesn't work out too well uh, whatsoever and so uh, i would like to where possible not increase the tax above 12 percent uh, and actually if i'm being honest i would like to bring it down below 12 percent uh, as so we can encourage more people to move into the town and speaking of which we are now officially a tiny town with a population of 1600 we unlocked landscaping parks and plazas unique buildings and a bunch of stuff uh, including canals which are not new to mass transit they were around before that uh, but i think they might have been new with the natural disasters update that's not all what i want to do i want to get rid of the traffic lights here and i've played around with the canals a little bit but uh, every time that i play around with canals because I, I feel like having a little like man-made river that goes into your city can look quite nice for example uh, if we go over to canals here and we just grab like a medium depth canal and then grab the um the curve tool having like a really nice river that goes like something through here obviously it's not a real river it's a man-made canal of a river i think would look quite nice and it's actually also not too expensive it only costs 1720 to set up but every single time that i've done this every single time without fail that i have done this in a city skylines world uh, flooding it has just been flooding non-stop you put it down water will start to slowly fall in and then when the, the the canal fills up water will just overflow and the whole city will start to flood everything's a mess people move out of the houses and it just spirals into me destroying the river and, and then waiting for all the water to disappear and so uh, if anyone knows how i can set up a canal like this without causing mass flooding i would love to hear about that in the comment section down below but uh, that is not what i wanted to talk about what i wanted to talk about was uh, extending out the highway and building another small suburban area either kind of up here uh, in the top left corner of the original square that we have to build in or buying the square to the left of us and setting up uh, another suburban area over there which i think is what i'm going to do just because i quite like having uh, the bridges that go across the uh, the river there and i like to integrate the river uh, into the city but again before we get started with that we have yet more things to take care of this time it is the water let me quickly bump the budget of this actually up to 70 percent, which hopefully will be okay it puts us just on the brink thankfully water kind of is a little bit slower than electricity electricity tends to get used up very quickly whereas the water uh, tends to last quite a while and so i bumped it up just a bit more to give us a little bit of breathing room so we don't have to keep tweaking it uh, quite as often as we've been tweaking the uh, the electrical budget um but that should last us for for quite some time we do have a building on fire here and so we should probably look uh, into investing in our fire safety now i uh well, we should probably pause real quick just so maybe this building has a chance of being saved um while we discuss where we're gonna put this um i really don't want to put buildings on the highway i mentioned it last episode but um in the future we're going to actually replace them with real highways like these two here and you'll see you can't put buildings onto the highway like that and so i think what i am going to do instead is i'm going to put this probably right about here uh, it doesn't mean it's quite far away uh, from the suburban area it's going to take quite a while for it to get uh, over here to this house which is almost certainly going to burn down before anything gets to it which is a shame but i think that having the firehouse uh, over here closer to the industrial sector uh, is going to be a smarter move in the long run because i find that a lot more fires uh, happen over here and when they do they tend to spread and then all the industrial area is on fire and they all go down and people won't work and it's just all a huge mess and so uh, we'll come back to that in the future again traffic lights keep appearing where i don't want traffic lights to appear so we'll fix that real quick um and we do have a lot of demand for industry now um again i don't want to stray too far from this kind of central road here uh, especially given how much traffic we're getting at this one junction we're getting a lot of traffic coming back and onto this and so i would much prefer when do we unlock 
How many people do we need to unlock this? We need 2,800 people to unlock the three-way intersection. Um, and I think we also need that 2,800 people we do to unlock transport so we can start putting down bus lanes and uh, stuff like that, which is going to come in really useful for this, uh, this second, like, suburban area. Um, and so I think for now, what I am probably going to do is somewhat reluctantly just kind of extend out this area over here. Again, I don't want to make it too, too big. And again, I've made a bit of a mistake over here by putting the, uh, the coal generator uh, too close to the edge of the road. And so now I, again, can't actually finish this thing up uh, as I would like to. Um, I guess, again, for the time being, uh, this is going to have to do for now. So again, I'll fill this in like so. I don't want to put too much industry down at once because if you do, and then the demand goes away very quickly, uh, you end up with a situation where you have a bunch of of industrial buildings that will then complain that there were not enough workers and then they'll all disappear and and that becomes quite a bit of a mess in and of itself uh, but it looks like for now uh, things are going fine with that uh, i will lower taxes here real quick to uh 10 percent right now we're making 2252 uh, dollars per week i'm going to bring this down just a little bit to try and incentivize people uh, to move in to the suburban area that we've got over here we're actually almost full on, on this little area that we've built. And so, uh, with the new money that we've just received from leveling up our city to a tiny town, I'm going to go ahead and extend out this one-way highway system that we've got all the way across and into this new area, which we're going to buy right now for the lower price of $5,000. So, now that we have that, let me go ahead and run this right along here. I would like it to say snapped. Let me quickly just turn the snap on there. Uh, snapped at 180 degrees like so. And then we'll just put it there for now. And we'll do the same thing with this one. This one is going to be running the wrong way, but that's fine. Again, we can grab uh, the upgrade roll tool and just very quickly have these all be rotated to face the opposite direction. Like so, make sure that one's facing the right way. And there we go. Uh, we've now got... A somewhat underwhelming bridge. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's a very, a very small bridge. It's not anywhere near as majestic as, as this other bridge. It's a little bit further uh, up the river here, but it will work just fine for the time being. And so uh, we're gonna grab another one of these fallen roads. And what we'll do is, I, ooh, we're having problems with electricity again. We are. We're not even at the end of the episode, and we're already using ever so slightly uh, more electricity than the city is currently producing. I'm gonna put this up to one, two five and uh, that's probably a bit excessive but again i would like a little bit of breathing room uh, to hopefully get this new area over here up and running uh, i think i'm gonna mix it up a little bit we'll have this main road kind of come along horizontally like so i think that should work out just fine and then i think what i might do is instead of having just this long highway uh, that runs straight on in parallel with this highway do we have another one anywhere uh we don't have another one that we can connect it up to. But what I think I will do here is put another bend in the highway. So we'll have this kind of come out and across like this. We'll have the highway turn up and then we'll have it go kind of up and around and probably at some point connect back down like over here somewhere. We might put in something like a big uh, multi-highway intersection. Uh, but I like to have these uh, these like big curves. I'm not a huge fan of having just the big straight lines uh, for the highways. And so we'll do something like this. I am a big fan of the 90 degree curves like this. I like to snap them up uh, to 90 degrees. So we'll have that go to i think uh, let me quickly check this i can do the same with the other one we're gonna go one two three four five there we go okay again it's a little bit off it gets a bit wider in the middle but uh, it's too wide at the beginning and then it's too wide again uh, at the end these might end up having a bit of a kink in them because this one uh, looks like it's heading kind of yeah they're gonna overlap you see here if this one keeps going here uh, that line coming up with the circles in it is the other road and you'll see they are gonna kind of converge and hit at some point but we'll just kind of have this one we'll give it a bit of a kink and we'll spread it out and, and if it's really annoying me i'll probably fix it at some point between episodes because otherwise uh, i could spend like 40 minutes here just trying to fix this one road uh, but there we go we'll have something like that and i think what we're gonna have to do is again have like another similar on-ramp off-ramp system like the one we've got here and here over here ready for the new little suburban area this one's gonna be a little bit trickier uh, simply because it's on a bend here we're gonna have to put it unless we put it like in the middle of the river which i think would look a little bit hideous so instead uh what i think we will do we'll grab the one-way roads and we'll have one i guess kind of come like right off there and just connect up uh, to the main street so you can come right off the highway and then go into what will be the main street of this new little suburban area and then for getting back onto the highway i'm not quite sure um, because we could always just have something like this connect up and then that would obviously just connect to the highway and continue on like that but then it would be quite tricky to get a road that connects up uh, to the other highway and so what i think i might do is i might put down another another kind of main road for this little town that we're going to create but have it somewhat offset and so if we do something 
like this. We're on the straight road to all, and then if we have like a road that comes down, like so, and then we have this kind of run up and along and through here like that then we can put uh, the little on ramp off ramp over here but then still have another main street that comes down like so uh, so let me get rid of all of these let me see about connecting this up here so we have this one continue along like so uh yeah, again oh this one okay i might make a complete mess of this because this i want this to go up and over our main road here whilst at the same time remaining curved now i have hit play that i did pause it for a second but i knew that i saw in the corner of my eye uh, some of those like red warning signs i'm just gonna hook that up real quick uh, so that they have water and then i'm gonna leave the game running on a slow speed uh, and i'm gonna work over here because i want to make some money whilst we're building this stuff but at the same time i don't want to leave it going on full speed just in case anything terrible happens while i'm not looking uh, and we end up with just a complete disaster for a city uh, which might happen anyway so uh, let me see here if i want this to come up and oh we could have it go under which in fairness would look a lot better but would not really function quite as well so hmm huh, i don't i don't know we could go for like a straight line here but i feel like we need to have it curve a little bit earlier but i don't really know if we can i think it's probably gonna be easier if we just do that have like a straight line that goes over like this and then have it come back down on a curve connecting up like that now I re no, I, <laughs> I really don't like that, like, at all. I am not a fan of that whatsoever. And so, you know what? Uh, in that case, actually, I'm going to get rid of this highway real quick. I know we've just built this thing, but I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to build this one more time. We're going to try this again. This time, I'm going to try and get it to be as symmetrical as possible. There we go. I think that's a much better looking curve. It's too wide almost all the way through it does get a little bit close together uh, here in the middle but uh, i think what we're going to do instead because of the fact that it's a little bit trickier to uh, to have the uh, the curves go over the road what i'll probably do instead is have this main kind of road into the town go down underneath here now i don't want it to go too far down so we'll do this and then we'll have it go across like so and then on this side it can come back up like that and then continue along uh, just a little bit there until we hit this uh, this small cliff face here and uh, we'll probably end the city there uh, but i think this is gonna be a nice little area here we can fill out this whole area we've like made an accidental cross here using the roads but we can fill out this area over here with another small town that we can then connect up to our main town now again we do want to have this connected up uh, actually, no, we don't want to have this connected up like that at all. We're going to get rid of that. And instead, we're going to have the exact same system that we had before. But this time, we're going to have it set up over here. So we'll have a little bit of an off-ramp like that. That one is definitely going the right way. I kind of want it to go a little bit further away. But I think that'll work out just fine. And then we'll do the same thing kind of coming out here and have that go up and around like that it's a very wide off-ramp uh, but at the same time i don't want to have one that's like too sharp like that because again i kind of like this big roundabout scenario that we're going to have here so we'll have that going there and then again we'll have something uh, preferably like that going around and connecting up to here if, if that's possible like so and then we'll have one that comes around off here and connects up over here that's a bit of an odd looking circle i'm not gonna lie i'll be the first one to admit that that's a really really odd looking circle but that now allows people coming this way to come off and get into the city people can leave the city and go back around and continue uh, or they can come right through here and continue off that way or they can come this way and continue on into there so yeah we sh they should be able to get into and out of the city using this like somewhat horrific looking roundabout that we've made here um and also very quickly here let me quickly switch the direction of all of these like so and there we go so this should be our new area and just like we did before uh, i'm gonna grab the normal road tool i'm gonna grab our wavy tool and just like with the last city i'm gonna be quite liberal with the uh these curves here for building like the inner suburban areas
ended not too long later now that I had my fun building this weird little spaghetti town that we're going to have uh, over on the opposite side of the river here, we can actually start to fill this in with some zoning. So uh, I've laid down one kind of main pipe going down the center of the road here. We are somewhat low on funds right now, and so we're not going to be able to quite fill in uh, the whole area, although we can probably take out uh, one of these two loans here. I think we took out the sunset loan last episode, and it looks like we've paid that back already, which is good. And uh, we're probably going to take out the £60,000 global credit ink loan here, uh, just to give us enough money uh, to try and fill in this area here. And I will speed this back up now uh, to full speed, because it looks like everything over here is doing just fine and hopefully by the time we've got a lot of this stuff laid down we'll be close to that 2800 person milestone uh, and we can actually start to invest in some public transport as well as maybe that new highway uh, for the new industrial area that i want to have uh, over and behind the uh, the other highway that we have over here but for now let's focus in on the residential we did just receive a bunch of money and so let me uh, do a little bit of pipe laying here again uh, i'm going to try and keep it to these roads but i am going to be a little bit cautious of the time it takes to do this and i'm going to try and make these like take the shortest path possible you know so i'm going to do like this and this and then maybe like this and this and this and this not quite the shortest path possible uh, but it works out okay uh, we do need to extend first of all this over to the main water line because otherwise uh, it is completely useless and we also need to put down a little bit more uh, in the way of commercial zoning like right along here like so so we can actually get all of the power connected up hopefully people uh, will start filling in those slots fairly soon maybe possibly there we go someone's built right there we need a few more over here and that should start to connect up no problem we'll also do this side like so and we'll even throw down a little bit of residential kind of behind these buildings just to try and entice some more potential um commercial business owners um but let me get like, a little bit more water down uh, over here we're almost at the edge so we'll do that and that not quite under the road there which is a little uh, disappointing but that's fine then we'll just run a little bit of a road kind of around like so i'm not gonna bother too much with kind of uh, this area opposite this like big roundabout that we set up uh, at least not for the time being we might extend out to there at some point in the next couple of episodes but for now we'll do that i do quite like having the water pipes connect to each other so i like when we've got like a closed loop here i'm not a huge fan uh, of leaving these uh, like straggly ends here at the end of these uh, cul-de-sacs but uh, it's gonna have to do for the time being so uh, people moved in power is now being transferred to the area which is good and it also means that now we can grab our uh, residential zoning tool and actually go to town on just painting a bunch of green around here and hopefully getting a bunch more people into the city preferably enough to get us up to that uh, that 2800 milestone that we're really kind of gunning for right now we do have a lot of zoning area actually i'm noticing right now a lot of our the area that we've just made here is is connected to these main roads because of the fact uh, that we've got two main roads here but uh, we should be able to get a decent amount of housing in nonetheless i am a little bit Oh, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of these. Again, I mentioned it last episode, but I'm not a huge fan of these kind of wastes of space here. And so I think I might have something like that. Just kind of poke it in there and have this one extend out just a little bit further uh, so that we can go ahead and fill that in with just a little bit more uh, residential. We can try and squeeze out as much residential as we possibly can. Then we'll fill this in as well like so. And I think I might save this spot and no we'll fill that in with residential as well i was gonna say maybe save that spot there uh, for another commercial building but uh, i think that looks fine now to entice people in it's probably going to be a good idea for us to throw down uh, a couple of facilities here uh, one that we desperately need is a high school uh, it is going to be a little bit weird thinking about this logically the fact that there's an elementary school all the way over here uh, that you can go to and if you live in this area you do have to drive all the way along the highway and over uh, to get over here to elementary school but uh, if you live over here you gotta drive all the way back over here uh, to get to high school so it's a bit of a trade-off there but that should incentivize a couple of people to move over into this area we now have a capacity of a thousand for high school with an eligibility of 486 so more than enough space uh, for the time being uh, and we might even throw down like a park we haven't thrown down any of these uh, so far yeah you know what we'll throw down a basketball car we'll put it down right next to the high school here and uh, so all the kids can go to the high school look at that they can have a pro basketball team it's gonna be great people are already there already enjoying the basketball court it is fantastic all right the demand for uh, residential is actually increasing i'm assuming that's because uh, this area over here is becoming a little bit nicer to live in it's looking like a more viable place to build a home in and along those lines uh, our fire hazard is 51 percent that's probably because uh, pretty much all of our city is like the vast majority of it is not covered by this one little firehouse we have here it's you know what? i am gonna move this uh, i know i want it close to um to the industry sector but i think it's probably gonna be a better 
fit to have it like right there that way it covers the toast area it can still get to the industry area if push comes to shove but uh, it can also go ahead and service this area over here if it needs to uh, and i think we'll throw down like maybe one more medical clinic over here just to try and make things uh, a little bit nicer and also make it a little bit easier for these guys to get some medical treatment if they so need it um so now we got that, we got people coming in. We're very close to getting up to 2,800 people, at which point uh, I would like to start working on some public transport. Specifically, uh, to start with, we'll probably set up a couple of bus lines. Uh, but whilst we wait for that, we can do some districting here. Um, and it is always fun to name our district. So let me quickly um, paint this in. You know, you'd think I was like a four-year-old child. Look at this, you can't can't paint within the lines. But we'll color all this in. And this district is going to be called uh, the Toast District because it's shaped like a piece of toast. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think we should in this district over here just like the mess the squiggly lined mess that we've got over here let me know uh, what you think this one should be called um but actually speaking of names one thing that i didn't point out in the last episode that is new to the mass transit update is the names of the road you can actually name uh, every single road within your city it's a bit weird that this road here is called blackwell street you don't normally see like a, a highway with a name like that but um we can zoom right in and we can name every single road within the city but we are now a boom town with 2800 people in our population we've unlocked transport including ferries buses trams and taxis or industry specialization new policies that we can put into our districts as well as that big three-way intersection that we want to set up uh, fairly soon here and a bunch of other stuff we unlocked so much stuff uh, at 2800 people uh, but speaking of which before we move on there uh, I can change the name of this street, for example, to like Main Street. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll call this Main Street Toast Town. The reason I've called it Main Street Toast Town is because I'm probably going to call like this one Main Street as well. Uh, we'll call this one Main Street for whatever we end up calling this district. Uh, but this is going to be Toast Town. You know, what? I'm going to re rename that from the Toast to Toast Town. I quite like the alliteration uh, of that as well. Flipping egg, look at that toast town I, I love it uh, okay so now we got that uh, let's speed things up again we've got eighty-two thousand now we're doing quite well uh, when it comes to money let's set up a little bit of public transport let's do a little bit of what mass transit is all about now buses are nothing new to city skylines they've been around for quite some time uh, but what i think i'll do is i'll put this like right about there so it's just kind of outside the city limits uh, for this area here we're still going to have uh, buses that service this area but i kind of wanted this uh, again not on the highway but not really in the middle of the city because it is quite loud and uh, we'll hook it up with a little bit of water and of course a little bit of power as well uh, i guess we're gonna have to have this kind of run across the highway and back like that it's a bit of a mess uh, but that should connect it up just fine it does indeed and then what i'm going to do here uh, is we're going to grab the bus station here the bus line tool and the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of create one central bus line we've got left hand traffic so we're going to have one central bus line with a couple of stops along main street that goes around and over and into the industrial area which is running out of water rapidly let me quickly bump up the budget of water we'll bump it up to 100 percent now um, and kind of leave it there until we get more warnings like we've done uh, kind of all the way through the series so far actually um but back over here i want to extend this round and we're going to have one main line that goes through the main street and then around and over and into the industrial area making it a lot easier for people to get uh, to work if they they will live in the toast town and they work in the industrial area uh, and so we'll have a little bit of a, like a bus line that goes like that and then we're gonna have it run all the way back around and connect up uh do we want to put some stops on the other side of the road yeah sure why not? we'll have one there we'll have one there and then we'll connect it up like so so it's gonna run all the way around it's gonna loop around and take people from the main street round and over and into the industrial area and then what we'll do from there is we'll set up more kind of sub bus lanes that are also going to stop at the same stop here so it's going to start right here but this bus lane is going to go around and kind of through the suburbs so if you live in like this house you can get on the bus ride around real quick to here and then ride all the way around and into the industrial area without having to block up the highway with your car um i think yeah i think we'll probably have like one because this, this toast town uh, is quite small we'll have one kind of bus route per half of the um the town so i was originally going to have like four bus lanes i was going to have one for this area one for this area one for this area and one for this area but i think instead it's probably gonna make more sense to have just one slightly longer bus route that goes around this whole kind of half of toast town here and then connects back up like that and so anyone living in this half of the town can just go right around get on the bus and then stop here get off the bus get on the new bus and go around again uh, i am going to go ahead and color coordinate these as we go along because otherwise i'm going to get lost with uh, with which line is which so the red line is the one that goes all the way over to the industry area the blue line right now uh, is the one in the left hand side of toast town and we'll set up one more uh we'll have this one connected to i guess like this bus lane 
like so. Uh, so we'll start it right about there, create a new line, and we'll have this one uh, go... Yeah, we'll have it go up into here, and then we'll have it loop again around. I don't want them too frequently. That bus stop is a little bit too frequent. Uh, people get real unhappy when you get rid of a bus line near them or a bus stop that's right near them. Uh, but we'll have this kind of loop around, like so. Uh, we won't... Oh, we'll put it there instead, because I want to turn in here, and then we'll have another one there, and there, and there, and I think that looks fine. We'll then connect that back up like so. We might as well put one in like right there, seeing as it's coming around like that. Uh, that's quite a lot of stops, but that should work out just fine. We are again low on power. That is crazy. Let me quickly bump this up to like 130%, which will hopefully cover us uh, for a couple of seconds here while we work on the bus line. Again, let me quickly change the color of that line to something like a green, like so. Um, and there we go. So now we should have a bunch of people getting on the bus and we should see bus usage kind of saw here uh, right now there are only 14 people a week using it but as uh, more and more buses start to run and as time goes by you'll see already uh, people are upgrading their buildings because there is a bus stop nearby and bus stops increase the value of the land around where they're placed and so the the building starts to upgrade and the area in general just becomes a lot nicer than it was before uh, also i might as well put like a little bus stop right there just in case uh, anybody who lives here doesn't want to walk all over the road and get on this bus stop but that looks quite good uh, we'll probably also have um for now like one major bus line that goes through here eventually we'll have like a similar sort of thing and, and like i said i do want to move this industry area we might do that at the start of next episode and uh, move that over and have just a big industry area back here behind the highway um and so we can kind of expand out toast town or maybe even set up like another small town kind of just over on the other side of what will be our major highway uh, in the middle here um but for now we'll have one more bus lane that kind of just comes across and along we'll have it connect up to like right here you know it's not perfect it's a very very long bus route and i'm not quite sure how many people are going to use it but if you want to get the people are happy about it if you want to get uh, from uh, the crescent heights is what it's called right now but if you want to get from this town over and over and into uh, the industrial area we can you can get on the bus uh, get off here and then continue on and get on the the red line bus over into the industrial sector and again like I just mentioned, we'll quickly change uh, one of those to, like, yeah, we'll go orange. I was going to go yellow, but we'll make it, like, an orange color instead, like so. And so there we go. We've got ourselves four bus lines, all with a specific purpose. As time goes on, we'll set up more of them. And again, uh, we would like to have a couple of bus lines kind of inside the suburban areas over here as well. Why do you guys not have power? It is because we just do not have enough power to give out. Uh, we will throw down one of these advanced wind turbines. They're just like the normal wind turbines, but advanced. They cost twice as much, but they produce more than twice as much power and they go in the water so they don't take up any land space they do uh, kind of detract a little bit in my opinion from um the look of the river i kind of like the nice clean river that we had going on at the beginning here but uh, we're already polluting it why not throw in uh, a couple of these advanced wind turbines as well that's going to bump up our electricity production to 110 megawatts uh, which is fine for now and uh, one thing again that i didn't mention last episode is natural disasters that was the last expansion for city skylines that we didn't play uh, but i do have it installed right now we have uh, natural disasters turned off although uh, i did have somebody ask that we turn it on just to add a little bit of variety to the gameplay and so i will turn it on i'm going to bring the frequency down quite a bit because uh, i don't want them to be all too frequent because if they are too frequent they can get a little bit annoying um, and then they just kind of detract from the gameplay experience you know if a tornado comes in destroys the city and then two minutes later another one comes in and destroys the city again it can get uh, kind of boring and kind of repetitive but the odd sinkhole every now and again uh, shouldn't be too too bad um but guys i think with that I'm probably going to end this episode of City Skylines there. Again, I'm just filling in uh, these little bits of, um, of residential area here because we had some big gaps. I kind of like uh, over here, we've got like a very tightly knit, a very close together uh, residential zoning. I quite like how this looks as opposed to like this where we've got this huge empty area here. So I'll probably work on filling these in uh, as time goes by, like I've just done over there to kind of fill it in and make it just more connected make it look a little bit nicer and make it look just a little bit nicer uh, if you've got any suggestions for names whether it be the name of uh, any particular road i will happily rename certain roads uh, to certain things if you've got a name uh, for one of these districts or just any district in general we're gonna build more districts as time goes on feel free to let me know in the comment section down below and actually uh, i know i keep getting sidetracked this is how i spend like this is how i end up spending so many hours on this game because uh, now that we've got these um, highways we can actually uh, start to upgrade these roads that we've got here into actual highways. Now, it probably makes more sense to upgrade it to that one for just, like, for consistency's sake. But uh, we can start to actually upgrade these uh, these one-way roads that we've got here into actual highways and make it less of a makeshift highway and more of an actual real highway. But 
I will do that between episodes. For now, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, as always, be sure to like. It really does help out a lot. Let's me know that you like these types of videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.